Hello everyone, I am Douglas Welch, and welcome to the first episode of Mindful. You know, I've been playing Minecraft for about a year now, my son got me interested in it, Joe Gogo Joseph, and we set up this little server, and it's been quite a lot of fun. <clears throat> I've been meaning to record for a while, but really haven't had the impetus to do it, but with the start of our new world, our Season 2, if you will, uh, I figured that I might as well try and record some stuff. I'm uh, sitting here on my uh, uh, GoGo Justice computer, because this is the fastest computer, the gaming computer, in the uh, in the house here. And so I figured I would record a quick video while he is out. This is my little hidey hole that we started our new world in. We got our, our bed down here, we got our chest, of course. And, of course, our little chicken farm to... Uh, keep us going here, give us some food to start off on. We're still gathering up animals on the server. We've got a few people on the server. Uh, we are close to just some close friends of ours uh, to prevent griefing and other sorts of things, but um, one person you may have seen is the Thief Lord, and the Thief Lord has started recording his own Let's Play as well. And it was very fun to see the server on YouTube, uh, like all the other big YouTube uh, channels out there. So one of the reasons I used this seed for this new world, you can see right around you here. It is in the middle of a horse plains. Um, we did want to be able to play around with the new horses in 1.6 without having to wander forever in our existing worlds. Um, we haven't been able to make much use of them yet because we're still getting geared up. I don't have any leads yet or anything like that. Here's another uh, spot where I'm kind of gathering up some animals to uh, keep our food supply high. We're going to make some standard paddocks here and start breeding them like you would normally see. One of my things I always do is I always gather up the eggs, I always throw them back in. It seems like I'm always doing that. Uh, you see the pillar here next to this pen. You might have seen the pillar next to the other pen uh, over here with the pigs. And then there's our spawn pillar over there. I do not have the best sense of direction in Minecraft sometimes. And, uh, come on, sprint. Sprint. Um, and so... Oh, grab the bones. Always use the bone meal. Um, so one of the ways I help myself navigate around is I do build some higher structures just so I can make my way back. That's actually our cows that we're going to be bringing back towards spawn. And over here you'll see another pillar. Um, and that is sheep. Of course, one of the most important things you need when you're getting started in New World is a bed so you can sleep through the night, especially with the nasty new zombie behavior and the high-powered, high... -powered, high uh, high danger, um, uh, what you call it, uh, skeleton behavior. Man, they can be punishing sometimes. Wonder if I've got any wheat on me here. Oh, of course I didn't bring any wheat with me, but oh well. We'll bring some wheat out. We'll keep breeding these up in here. Uh, but eventually we're going to bring them all back a little closer to spawn. We have this huge plains area over here to turn into our farming area. What I was thinking too, just when I saw this world to begin with, was um, having something like a riverside town. There's a lovely river that runs through the middle of it. And, uh, oh, I see. Well, I can't sprint, and I need to figure out why I can't sprint, because you need some food, you silly goose. Let's, uh, I don't know about anyone else, but I tend to have a hard time remembering to eat sometimes. Even then... Sprint's not working, so hold on just a second. I guess it's just me. So uh, what I've done here is I've developed a little spawn house. I was the first one to log into the new server uh, when we got started. I didn't want to do too much. I want to allow people to have oh, stupid Enderman, uh, have people do kind of their own thing on the server. But I did create spawn house here. Leave a stack, take a stack. Basically, this is a place to kind of share. Um, share resources on the server to uh, help people get started the first time they come on. Just some little food. There's a bowl and some mushrooms, some wooden tools. Some uh, I see that Thief Lord has actually put his enchanting table in here, Ooh, which uh, actually I should use. Let's see here. Uh, do I have anything decent worth enchanting? Uh, we'll, put, we'll put a one level one on the pick. What do we get? Ah, I got efficiency one. Great. And what do we get on our... And efficiency one on our axe. Cool. Uh, sword. Sort of need a new sword. I, you know, let's do that real quick. Let's make a new sword. And um, and then enchant that. Let's see. Iron. Where's my iron? There it is. Click, click. Um, make a new iron sword. And oh, pick up the sticks, please. 
as you can see, I'm still sort of a well, sort of a noob playing Minecraft. I tend to make things harder than it should be. Sharpness one, I'll take it. Always a good thing to have in your back pocket, for sure, especially when the monsters come a Roman. Uh, I'm working on spawn offs. I haven't got the roof up in here on it yet. I'm just having some trouble figuring out how to get these darn um, stairs to line up right. I also realized I needed to raise this center beam one more uh, level high to um, allow for the proper spreading out of the uh, roof structure there. Um, I do like building somewhat. Uh, it can be quite fun. I just wanted to wander over here and show you basically you know, another nice feature of this is this lovely ravine down there. And you can see we've been down there uh, lighting things up. Um, see some bats down there, it looks like. Well, someone's <laughs> left. Crafting benches everywhere. One of the things I love about a multiplayer server in Minecraft is the fact that you do see these artifacts lying everywhere. You'll be wandering around, perhaps someplace you haven't been before, and all of a sudden you'll see um, uh, almost what the amounts to being a ruins in the, in your backyard as you come across it. Uh, that someone has perhaps started a started a basic place and then maybe they've um, abandoned it and that was their temporary home and they've decided to go elsewhere. Um, Lovely view here of the sunset, uh, but of course that means one of the things we should do right now is get our sword out and head back over to our hidey hole so we can sleep the night away. Um, I'm not a big one on uh, PvP, um, so I try to avoid it, mm, I won't say religiously, but I try to avoid it, and that's another entrance down into that ravine, kind of a dead-end cave here. Here's our basic food supply that we created us a little wheat farm of course making it right along the river is easy you don't have to worry about setting water points or anything like that you just go ahead and uh, just go two or three blocks I guess in from the water and it works really well so let's go ahead and I don't know why my signs empty I think someone knocked my sign off and then never <laughs> replaced the sign but never replaced the words on it okay so here we are uh, before we go let's do our little egg grab again like we always do. I saw this in another video. I don't know why I didn't think it was for. I was using trapdoors to get in and out of these pens in my earlier world, and ladders make it so much easier. Um, I saw that in someone's video and said, oh, duh, face palm. Why didn't I think of that? And if, sure enough, it is much easier. You noticed all the pens out there had uh, ladders inside, so the animals can't get out, but you can easily get in and get out. Anything cooking, nothing cooking, nothing cooking. Okay, down we go. Let's sleep away the night. And back to daytime and safety. Always wish. Still got to watch out for those darn creepers. Ugh. First day I was out there, first thing that happened, I'm walking up under these trees over here, and uh, I realized I needed to cut these trees back from spawn, because when you woke up in the morning, you couldn't really see what, what creepers or other nasties were hiding underneath there. Now, one of the things I also liked about this seed was, one, you got this lovely river, you got the lovely plains with all the horses here, you've got all the way over there in the distance, you can see some uh, extreme hills popping up in that direction, and let's see here, F3, that is to our south, uh, so to our south is extreme hills, to our north is more plains, to our west, right? Is that our west? Again, I'm my... Uh, that's our north, actually. To our north is a jungle you can see hanging out there. You may have seen that when I walked over towards the, um, the sheep and the cow farm. That's where they are. Oh, that ravine is so bloody dangerous. I'm going to mark this with some torches. One of the things you want to do, too, of course, is just light stuff up as you start to move around your world just so you can keep the spawn rates around your main area a little lower. Um, nothing wrong with a little PvP, PvE, but uh, you don't end up dying all the time. It's uh, nasty losing your stuff. Oh, and the other important thing, as you see here in my thing, have all your armor. So gear up with iron armor as soon as you can. Oh, just reminded me, I need to go back to the enchanting table and get a level 1 protection on all of those. So there's our jungle over there. Haven't explored the jungle much. Um, sort of like the Minecraft server, which uh, Gogo Joseph, Thief Lord, and all of us watch, uh, and really like the guys over there. One of the things they're doing in their new world, which is also sort of the impetus for resetting our world, is to not explore too far just yet, because with 1.7 we're going to get into new biomes, and we don't want to have to go way out to explore those new biomes. We want them to generate nice and close to our central spawn area here so we can enjoy them without a lot of traveling around. Of course, you have nether portals and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, 
even then it can get a little crazy uh, when you're traveling about too much. So, and also over here is our swamp area, and I believe, yeah, Thief Lord told me, I think there's a, there's a witch hut over here. He may have co-opted it into his base, I think, right there in the middle. Uh, so there's a witch hut right there. Um, I found a slime chunk down in our ravine, so we have some slimes. Uh, I don't have much string yet. I needed to stay out one night, probably, and do some spider hunting uh, to to get some cob uh, some string, or um, I also need to do a mining run. I really haven't got a lot of resources yet uh, beyond the iron I got for my, my gear here, but it'll be time to um, go down, do some kind of grinding in the mine, and uh, perhaps find a mine shaft and get a lot of string just so we can make up some bows for everybody. I, for one, again, because of my kind of lame... PvE, PvP skills, uh, need a bow desperately. Um, I like to keep the, the mobs at a distance, and that really helps me stay alive. Um, compared to the first time I started playing Minecraft, though, I'm much better at staying alive. I know enough now that if I feel like I'm overwhelmed, to just burrow into the side of the hill and get away from it until morning comes. Um, very funny. One of the first things you learn, of course, is how to survive and... Gogo -Go Joseph was so funny because he, one of the first things he did after he saw me try to survive a couple nights was like, go watch Paul Stores Jr. and his Survive and Thrive series, please. You're just so lame <laughs> and you're dying all the time and you're losing all your stuff. So it's uh, it's worthwhile to uh, to check out Paul Stores Jr. if you haven't. His Survive, How to Survive and Thrive in Minecraft is a great little series. And if you're just getting started with Minecraft, or maybe you'd just like to learn a little bit more advanced stuff, uh, it can, it's really nice, and, and it does help you kind of get into the game a little bit. As you can see, the planes go on for quite a distance over there. There's more uh, horses. I know there's a herd of cows over that way we're going to try and grab. Um, and down here in these woods, actually, I haven't... Uh, oh, come on here. See something? Despawn? No, I guess it's just grass. So something was lying there threatening to despawn. Oh, someone trampled my wheat. Um, there was just had to be this nice little cave right here, um, where I was able to just go down really quickly, uh, from another entrance and get some, um, get some iron. Of course, the last time I came here, there was a skelly right here, and I was like, oh, jeez, I don't have my bow, I can't do anything here. But, we got a lot of exploring to do down here to get some resources. I think Thief Lord has already found, as his name <laughs> would indicate, he's already found diamonds, um, but I have yet to get down there and get some diamonds for some diamond gear. Um, again, I probably won't show the, uh, the the mining and the grinding and the caving too much unless it's something very, very interesting. Oh, well, okay, that tells me I'm done. I'm out of torches right now. We'll go back up. Um, but I will show a little bit of that. Uh, I haven't located any spawners yet to make any mob grinders. Um, mob grinders are nice. They just make things a little bit easier for you. Uh, keep the resource grinding to a minimum, especially for arrows and and uh, stuff like that. So um, another of our members, Laser Phoenix, has started to build his house here at spawn. One of the thoughts I had um, once I get beyond my hideal here is to turn the riverside in here to our town. So basically make a walkway, have like a river walk down along the river as far as you want to go in either direction and then build the houses back from that a little bit and then have behind the houses uh, have have our farms and other things like that and our horse corrals and stuff like that thinking of a road actually I was looking at this the other night this these two hills are kind of on the same level here and so I'm thinking the main bridge in town is going to be out that way into the plains and then a road and then a bridge across into the other plains and starting our structure in that way. I like to use the natural terrain in Minecraft. I, I don't like to flatten things out too much and I know everybody tends to say that and then go ahead and get their efficiency force shovel out and flatten the whole thing. But um, I, I do like the natural terrain. I've actually had a thought of doing um, some sort of custom map design just using the natural terrain. Find a seed that works really well and uh, and then build the map within the world that you're given rather than uh, using MC Editor or something like that to kind of build the, the world from scratch. Uh, I'm not sure how it would work. I don't know if anyone else has done that, but it's certainly something that I want to give a try to. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, Unfortunately, I do need to record on this computer, not on my Macintosh, where I normally play, because I just can't keep the frame rate up high enough. But um, hopefully I'll be filling in uh, with some other future mindful 
episodes here, and you'll get to see the world grow. We'll go and we'll check out uh, uh, Thief Lord's place. We'll check out Gogo Joseph's place. The uh, last one he had in the last world, he actually was in a, uh, he took over a desert temple and maxed it out to the nth degree with all sorts of uh, neat stuff. So, um, let's see here. There, get, get these replanted while I'm here. Um, and again, I'm I'm older. I'm not a kid. I'm not even a teenager. Um, but it is fun to escape into the world of Minecraft every so often. Uh, just have a little bit of fun. Uh, fight the monsters. Uh, unlike fighting the monsters in our everyday world, <laughs> sometimes it's fun to go fight uh, make-believe monsters instead of the monsters in your career or something like that. So. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Mindful. Uh, I'm Douglas Welch. You can find out more about me over on the website, douglasewelch.com. Uh, there you'll find links to this uh, video and other Minecraft stuff, as well as everything else I do, which includes career opportunities, a column and podcast about careers, Technology IQ, a general technology podcast and blog, Careers in New Media, which is all about new media stuff like podcasting and YouTube and stuff like that, and uh, a gardener's notebook. Um, I actually uh, have a garden here at the house, and I like to spend time out there, just like I'm spending time in here. It's funny, I think maybe uh, maybe your outside activities affect your Minecraft activities. It's one of the things I do always find myself doing is puttering about in the, uh, in the field and uh, <laughs> growing stuff. Uh, thankfully, I'm a little more successful here in Minecraft growing stuff than I am in real life, but it's fun all the same. So, until next time, uh, if you have any comments, please leave them as comments on the YouTube video or on the website. I'd love to hear what's going on in your Minecraft world. Share me some screenshots. Share me some videos from your Minecraft adventures. I'd love to, uh, love to see what's going on. I'd love to learn from you as well. It's always great to learn from other people. I'm seeing lots of good uh, Minecraft information and stuff on um, on uh, uh, Google Plus these days. But uh, until next time, I'm Douglas E. Welch. Uh, see you later on a, the next episode of Mindful. <laughs>